Every girl want to walk off of me. Yeah. Every girl say they want peace of me. Oh. And every girl them a dive after me. Too. So they know me as the pussy specialist. Yeah. When the pussy sick, them a protect me with it. Yeah. Boom, boom, sick. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I got my hair done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I got some soft locks. Show y'all real quick. I got some locks. They are so beautiful. I love them. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. So I got some soft. They're called soft locks. Um, I was gonna get knotless braids, but the girl put y'all close. The girl ended up bailing on me. So I ended up getting this from another young lady that had a special. She was so... Why is this coming down, bro? I hate this tripod. She was so sweet, guys. Like, when I tell you sweet, so sweet. I got some Jersey mics that I'm about to fuck up real quick. And it's going to be like a little mukbang. We're going to start off today's vlog with like a little mukbang. Okay, I'm bringing y'all down some because... Now, I know y'all are looking. Y'all are like, how is your room set up look different? Y'all, I did a switcheroo. Show y'all real quick. We moved all the bookcases, bookshelves, whatever, to the other side of the room. And now where those were, it's now bare. And then I also have my mirror here. Like, I got me a cute little filming setup for Instagram Reels so I can finally do you know have the quality that i wanted so i'm about to eat real quick um Kyrie is here by the way he's just sitting right there he's asleep i was gonna take him out of the car seat but i'm like you know what i need to eat real quick so oh my god jersey mics that's my sandwich i don't know what's been going on with my camera that shit has not been trying to focus like i don't know but I did not think I was going to like these locks. Like, I didn't think locks would look nice on me. I love this. Like, her work, it don't even look, like, the pictures don't do it any justice. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. Mmm, I need some water. This is dry. There's only one jersey mic that I like and clean. It's next to... It's literally next. It's by Best Buy. There's one on Clear Creek. They don't make it good. And this is when I went to. was in Copper's Cove. And they don't make it good. So I don't know if it's the people that work at the one by Best Buy. But this shit been a miss lately. But I need some water. So BRB. I brought the whole damn juice. But this girl. The girl that did my hair. First of all, she was so sweet. And she's only 21, and uh, like her head is on so straight. I wish that I was as smart as her um, when I was 21. But when I was 21, I was outside living my best life, doing things I had no business doing. But this girl is 21, and she has her head on straight. She says she's um, plant based, so she only eats plant based stuff. Like she don't eat meat, none of that. I said, baby girl, you better than me, cause I could never. I love a lemon pepper. She has some very valid points though. Like everything we were talking about, we were talking about BBLs. We were talking about social media and how like it'll make you feel like everything is perfect and like you're not perfect. Like not perfect, but like we were talking about BBLs and we were saying she was like, if all you follow is BBLs or women with BBLs, you're gonna feel like everyone has a BBL but you. But she was like, in for in reality. It's people, normal people out here. Like, everybody don't have BBL. And she was just saying that she was starting to feel like she needed one. And I was telling her my experience. Like, girl, the attention is not worth... Like, when I tell you the attention you get... First of all, you don't even know if a motherfucker really like you or not. You don't know if he really like you or not. Or if he like you for your butt. Like, it's 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 really not as cracked out, cracked up as it seems to be. I sent Mace a picture of um my hair. This is what he put... <laughs> How y'all like the locks? The knots. I mean, the locks. I actually love this. Like, I don't know if I would ever lock my hair, but this is definitely giving, child. This is giving. So what I'm about to do? 
I'm about to do what I wanted to do the other day, which is film an Instagram reel. And I love this shirt. It's from my outfit online. I made one more order with my outfit online. I'm not buying no more shit because this shit's expensive. And I want to be on their PR list, but we talking about they don't got no more space. Okay. Okay, so it's 6.42 p.m. Now, I'm thinking I got my hair done. I don't know what I got to do tomorrow. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use this time because he's asleep. I think I'm going to film a makeup reel. I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to film a, make a makeup Instagram reel. Um, Yeah, I want to do that. And then I think I want to finally film my labor and delivery story. So I think I'm going to do that. Cause I ain't got shit else to do and it's only seven and I'll be up till about four in the morning. So that's what I'm going to do. I also need to brainstorm. Um, damn, I can't talk. I need to brainstorm this video. I need to do, I need to brain re brainstorm because child, that's a story for another day. I'll, sh I'll tell y'all, remind me to tell y'all about that. Um, I need to show you guys what I got from wish biz. All right, y'all. So we got two things from wish biz. And I want to come show you guys. I got some Chanel glasses to add to my glasses collection. And I don't even have no space. So I don't even know why I keep getting glasses. But I got some Chanel glasses. And I also got a deal of hers. To match my little sneakers that I got up there. That I probably only wore once. So I'm happy that I finally got that purse to go with it. So let's get into the glasses y'all. Even though it's cold outside. I'll still be wearing glasses. I have a pair in my car. I like to leave a pair in my car. You guys. I think y'all know how these come just a quilted um case then you open it i think y'all can see that it says there we go it says it right here say chanel um it comes with a cloth to clean your glasses and then it comes with some cards and these are the glasses that i picked out they are just black ombre the shades is like a black ombre. As y'all can see, it starts off black and then goes like see-through. And these are just a burgundy-ish brown pair of glasses. And then the side just says CC. Let me see if I can get the focus. The side just says CC. This is nice. I know I got a big head though. These locks make my head look ginormous, but this is how they look. I like to I gotta trust some eyebrow girl because this head is humongous. Which I think I don't know. I think it make my head look big, but my head is big. I just can't do shit about it. Ooh, I need a wig install. I can't really see how cute they are because it's kind of dark, but these eat. Yeah, these are gorgeous. So yeah, I got these. I'll leave these linked down below if you guys are interested in checking out Wish Biz. And then the next thing I got is a cute little Dior bag. Cute. So, 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 so cute. So this is how it came packaged. Cute as box. That says Dior. Am I in focus? And then this is everything that comes in it. A little bow if you want to wrap it. Like cards. Y'all. And I just picked out a cute little simple shoulder bag. This is the dust bag. Cute. And this is the bag I picked out, you guys. Super, super simple, y'all. You know how long I've been waiting to open this bag? I literally waited for y'all. I just wanted something cute and dainty. Mm hmm yeah it just has a gold chain it's half a gold chain and then half just like a regular strap and this the attention to detail on this is sickening y'all see this it just says cd 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 all throughout the chain i feel well focus yeah right there attention to detail this is in the dior monogram print as you guys can see it 
And this is your basic Dior monogram print. They have it, I think, in like gray. So many different colors. I just like the normal navy blue. Inside is really small and just empty. And it can fit car keys, phone, AirPods. This actually can fit a good amount. Y'all see? It can fit an actual good amount. So this is real cute. Cannot wait to add this. I'm actually going to add this to my collection. Mad cute. Put it on my shoulder. Cute little shoulder bag. You going out with girls? Just throw this on. Oh, my belly look big. Big belly gal. Real cute. Period. I'm putting it right here with the rest of my little, uh, my little, y'all see them type of bags. Yeah. And then the glasses. And then the glasses I'm just going to go ahead and add to my little glasses collection, which is getting a little full. Let me show y'all. I never really showed y'all my glasses collection. Y'all want to see? These are my glasses. If you guys want like an in detailed, I was cleaning in here. If you guys want like an in detailed tour, let me know. I can do that. But I put this bag right here by the rest of the little, you guys, what are these bags, these kind of bags called? The little ones that go over your shoulder? Hobo bags? I don't know, but yeah. We decided to move everything and I just love it on this side better. And then this is like my little filming area. That's going to give. So I need to go ahead and charge y'all. If you guys are interested in shopping with Wishbiz, go ahead and check out the link down below and use my code Wishbiz13. This is the kind of stuff that I like to do for my mental health. I just love it. So I'm just trying to get back to myself. You guys, I told y'all after the having Kyrie, I felt like I lost myself. I was like, I don't even know who I am anymore. And I'm still trying to figure out who I am. So um, doing stuff like this makes me feel kind of normal again. So I'm going to go ahead and charge you guys. And while I'm charging y'all, I need to clear out some memory cards because all my memory cards are packed to the brim. So I need to clear out some memory cards. This is so pretty. Um, clear out some memory cards and lay out my makeup so I can film my Instagram reel. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and film and then I will see you guys later on tonight. So y'all can see what I have to deal with. <laughs> At nighttime, that's his turn up time. So yeah, uh, thank y'all for even tuning into this postpartum vlog. We are trying to get back to ourselves. I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. This shit is so hard. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was becoming a mother. But we will get into more details about that tonight. So, yeah, it is 6.53. Let's see how long filming and getting transforming and all that takes me. So, check in with y'all in a couple hours. All right, y'all. I just finished filming a makeup look on this. A makeup Instagram reel on this look right here. Eight down. Stop playing with me. I don't know what's going on with this light, but yeah. I want to come in and check in with y'all, but yeah. Hopefully it look nice on the thing because I don't know what's going on, but I just filmed and it is 9.23 p.m. Oh God, Kyrie look crazy. Oh yeah. Hell. What the hell? Hey guys, so I just sat here with my mommy there in makeup. Hi guys. Aww. Kawhi. Kawhi. Yo, he just laid up. Um, he just chilling with me because obviously I ain't got nowhere else to put him. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and edit. I kind of want to film that other video. Minanua. Do I got any sponsors I need to film? I got vlog stuff. Nothing like big, big sponsorship. All right. I'm going to check in with y'all tomorrow. I need to film my labor and delivery talk. So, yeah. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Say goodnight, guys. Good night. Mommy got me in this walker. And I'm all wrapped up. And I love my mommy. 
with my fat cheeks. Looking like a fat cheeks boy. All right, bye. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Um, damn, I ain't really got shit to do today. Um, right now, Kyrie's sleeping. Um, I think I had a clogged milk duck yesterday because my breasts felt so. They felt like if you put a needle in them, like they can just explode with milk. Like it just felt like so much pressure. So, what I did, TMI, trigger warning. I'm just, we're going to talk about it. Y'all tell me if that's a clogged milk duck. I don't know. So what I did was I started to massage it like this. And milk was coming out, but it wasn't just coming out. It was like spraying out. So I don't know. Is that normal? Have you guys ever been through that? Um, There was a lump and I was just massaging it and trying to drain my breast. And it was so much milk. Like when I tell y'all it had to at least be three ounces, two to three ounces. To me, that's a lot, but... It had to at least be two to three ounces just off of me hand expressing. And then I pumped after because, wow, like I needed some relief in this one breast. And then this breast, I don't know what she got going on, but she don't even make an ounce. She, she's really pathetic. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like I love her, you know, but she's really pathetic. But, and then I'm hearing after you're done breastfeeding, your, your breasts are going to just deflate. Listen, not today, Satan. Okay, I, I don't I don't have the time for it. Um and I'm not going under the knife again. So something's gotta give. Like dang, like damn, can moms win? Like you do all that, then your titties go flat? Like what type of shit is that? But I'm just chilling here drinking. Um, I'm drinking juice, I'm not drinking liquor. It's early in the morning. I'm drinking cramp pineapple. I'm about to go lay back down. I just wanted to start off the vlog and I wanted to clean up a little bit as you guys seen. I really want to attack this closet behind me. The only thing that's really in there is like, you know, like his crib mattress that one of you guys got. I remember her name. I think her name is like Lady, Lady Ma'am or something like that. She got that crib mattress. I remember that. Um, I got a lot of, my mom, when she left, she left a lot of clothes here. So a lot of the, the majority of the clothes in that closet is my mom's clothes. So um, when I am going to go home. I have so much to tell y'all and I haven't even started telling y'all. So I am going to go home um, like the end of February. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to New York. So I'm really excited about that, y'all. Um, me and Kyrie will be going to New York. Mace, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't speak for Mace because I know he's going. I just don't know around what time. Like, I don't, I don't know. We haven't worked out the details yet. But I will be vlogging when I do go to New York. I will be vlogging when my mom meets Kyrie. She calls me every day. Like y'all seen in that last that other vlog. She calls me every day. And she doesn't even want to speak to me. She wants to speak to Kyrie. She's like, where's the baby? You you look nice and all, but where's the baby? So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, she wants her to bring her all her clothes. And I'm like, why did you leave it? Like, just because... She, she wants him to bring her all her clothes. That makes me think she's never coming back here. But I don't know. Um, yeah, it's whatever. So I'm going to bring her her clothes. Um, I got to figure out how do you travel with a newborn. Like, I got to look up tips and stuff. And girl, I never did this shit before. So I got to figure that out. And um, yeah. So it's the morning time. I'm waiting for my labor and delivery video to upload. Right now it's on 34%. Like, hurry up. So, yeah, that'll go live today. It's Friday, January 26th. So, I hope that hopefully, you know, you guys like that video. Um, yeah, so, I think I like this setup way better. But I just need to clean that damn office. I mean, clean the closet out. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm about to go lay back down. Well, I'm about to take a shower because... Uh, oh, shit, I almost fell. I'm about to go take a shower because um, usually I'm still asleep at this time. But I was like, you know what? He's asleep. Let me get up and get my life together. And I want to do one of those massages in the shower. You know, like I've been hearing. Um, when you're in the shower, massage your breath, like hand express and do all that to get the like clog stuff out. Because my even me doing all that yesterday, it still hurts. Like my breath still hurts. So 
And it's only one breast because it's only one breast that really make milk. So yeah, I'm about to go shower, wash my ass. Bam, laugh it wouldn't know. Laugh it down. So yeah. I have nothing to do today. This is bad. I usually have shit to do, but I don't know. Let me not let me let me sit down and relax in my little feminine era. I guess. But alright, yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all a little later. Kyrie's sleeping, so I I don't even have, I can't show y'all him right now. But yeah. Well, looks like we have a haul today. Woo, y'all. All right, some of these I don't think I can even show you guys, but I got some packages. I'm fresh out the shower. I'm waiting on a package from my outfit online, but I don't know. Maybe it's one of these, I don't know. But, all right. Let's start off with milk makeup. Hold on, let me put you right here. There's a whole thing right here. Milk makeup. got four products nothing too crazy I'm gonna get my nails done and I'm gonna get them shorter because this is a little too long for me I'm get them shorter but I got their milk makeup hydro grip primer I got the matte setting spray I got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I got the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. And then I also got their Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So, so I got to tell about this formula shit. So, there is a machine. It's called the Baby Brezza Formula Pro, right? And it basically mixes the formula and the water and makes the bottle for you. I got that as a registry gift and I have recently been using it and recently Kyrie's gas has been like insane like he's up crying he isn't like he's in like excruciating pain like he's crying and it's like a high-pitched cry and I could never understand like why he got like this horrible gas all of a sudden come to find out you guys the machine does not make the the bottles right the machine um of course the settings are according to the formula you use you gotta go on their website and figure out the number and it's, it's some weird shit but the it was making too little of formula so it was not make it wasn't putting enough powder in the formula so once i found that out and i seen all these like negative reviews online about it i started to just hand make the bottle so like four ounces of water two scoops and shake it like you know just make a regular bottle so now he has been doing better, so I'm really happy about that. So the next package is from CVS. Um, I was checking my email, and I seen an email that was like, you get $6 off a $20 item. You get $6 off a purchase of $20 or more or some shit. And CVS sells the, um, the formula that I like. So I use that, and I used, um, I have something. CVS has these things called CVS Bucks. So I had some CVS bucks. Um, so I got like one of his formal things for like $10. It's usually $22, but I got it for $10. See? Just one box of Similac. One little six count. And this retails for $22, but I got it for $10. So yeah, that's good. Next package. Oh, this is from Timu. This is actually sponsored, so I got some sponsored Instagram reels coming out. Y'all go make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. No, for it, y'all go make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I think this is the last package. So I think I need to start filming this today, which is cool because I didn't. I just got chills. I didn't have nothing to do today anyway, so might as well make. Oh, if I ain't break it, might as well make some lash, huh? Y'all know. Y'all know I've been raving about my outfit online. Um, I've been making a lot of purchases. Uh, my outfit online is expensive, y'all. It is kind of comparable to Skims in terms of quality and pricing. So it's not cheap. So they had a sale 
and I, you know what I'm saying, I bought some stuff. And um, it looks like your normal, um, you know, like expensive loungewear in a sense, but it's really not. Like it's expensive, but the quality, like once you buy one thing from my outfit online, you're never going to stop shopping from there. Like I have stuff from my last order that's still like has a tag on it like this shit is insane like i'm like really addicted so it's like really high quality and it's like really high quality and stretchy so this is the stuff that i got from the sale it usually comes in like a gorgeous box but i don't know what happened today i just gotta make sure that you know i got my right item so they just come like this I got the U-shaped long sleeve shirt in white. Oh, oh my God. It feels like butter, you guys. I'm not going to tell you how much I spent. Basic white tee, but I'm telling you, when you feel it, butter. Butter. So I got that. Then I got their Pro Technical Leggings in white, which I love their Pro Technical Leggings. I don't even know what would convince me to get white leggings knowing that I have a black dog. I don't know. But yeah, this is their leggings. It's super soft. Y'all would not ever be able to tell. Like, it's butter. Like, it's like somebody melted butter and put it in clothes. Like, it's just... Words cannot explain the quality of this. Like, I am shook. That is... This is probably going to be my last order until they have, like, some new releases. Because... Their shit is expensive. And I made three orders within two weeks. Like, this is bad. Ooh, this is their regular t-shirt. Damn, I know a large was going to be too big. Damn, this is huge, you guys. What the fuck? This is a damn, this is a dress. I wanted to get medium, but I was like, you know, my breasts are really large from um, breastfeeding. But it just says my outfit online right here. I mean, I'm still going to wear it, though. I probably wear it to sleep. It's really comfortable, stretchy. Wow, I'm really disappointed that that's really that big. I got the structured wide leg sweatpants in dark stone gray. Oh, this is so nice. I should have got short, you guys, because I'm short. I should have got the short one. Like, I should have got it in the short, but it's all right. It just looks like this. You guys will never be able to tell the quality until you purchase something. Purchase one item from them and you'll see. But make sure y'all tell them that I sent y'all. Because why the fuck I'm not on a PR list? Don't spend all this goddamn money. This is their oversized bomber fit jacket. An espresso. And this I got in a medium because I was just nervous. I'm like, I don't know if it's going to... This still look a little big. No, this look... Uh, kind of this still kind of look a little big. What y'all think? My first order that I made, I had um, purchased some stuff in this color espresso. So that's why I got the jacket in espresso. And this was on sale. Their entire website was on sale. And then last, I got the jogger fit sweatpants in black large. I'm not even going to try these on. I'm actually, that's why I wanted to clean out that closet because I wanted all my expensive lounge, which is not expensive, but like I wanted my expensive loungewear to be in that closet so I can know to grab for it because I have so much shit and I have not decluttered that other closet yet that um I can it's easy to lose shit like if you don't really use your shit you're gonna be like oh I remember I bought this 10 years ago and I don't want to do that with these like this is so comfortable so this is just the sweatpants in black and I have this in two other colors I think so yeah Cute, cute. I forgot to show you guys this. This is from a company called The Lotion Company. And they sent me a package. Oh my gosh. So this says, Hi Jasmine, we love watching your YouTube videos. And are so excited for you to try our handcrafted skincare products. Our lotion and scrubs are handcrafted in small size kettles with high quality ingredients to moisturize and nourish your skin. We hope you enjoy. Morgan from The Lotion Company. And I already opened this one. Because remember, I told you guys I just got out the shower. I opened this one. This is the caramel candy and it smells so good. Now, I, they sent me the caramel candy. They sent me the scent baby powder, which it, I'm going to be honest, baby powder kind of sounds like, oh, it's going to be subtle or like 
and I have a smell this smells so strong and smells so amazing like between these two I, I don't know which one I really like the most but this one smells really good really fruity and then this one just smells like like you got money like it just smells so fresh like oh my god like a clean baby then they sent me their scent Oh, I thought Kyrie was crying. Then they sent me their scent vanilla bean, which also smells good. Me their sugar scrub in the scent lively lemon, which I actually have not opened yet, but I'm about to. If I can. Oh, it kind of busted. Oh, it smells so good, though. Oh, my God. Oh wow, it kind of, yeah, it kind of busted as you guys can see. It's kind of like out a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go put that in the shower. Then they sent me another one of their scrubs in the scent uh, baby powder fragrance. Which oh, I know this smell good because if that lotion smell like that, Jesus. All right, let's see y'all this is they just sent me this to try out they didn't they're not like paying me to talk about it or nothing oh my god it smells so good what oh my god it smells so good you guys what wow definitely gonna go put those in the shower no that smells good and then they sent me three little sample sizes, the brown sugar, the lavender field, and then one that's fragrance free, which is, you know what I'm saying, good because I don't want Kyrie, you know, around much fragrances. I heard that, you know, babies get allergic or whatever if you have like a lot of perfume around them. That's what I heard. But yeah, so that's all they sent me. Thank you so much to the lotion company, y'all. Shout out to them. Look at that what's up y'all so we are about to be on the way to target i was just sitting in the house bored i'm like listen depression ain't gonna get me mm -mm. i'll be in the house all day don't be doing shit i've been in the house before i got pregnant during my pregnancy now after the baby like i just want to be outside but not like the outside y'all are thinking like i just need some fresh air so right now i'm about to go to target it is seven o'clock at night i don't know i was just in the bed laying down i was like jasmine if you don't get up and do something yeah so i'm about to be on the way to target i will show you guys my outfit when i get to target one of the reasons why i wanted to go to target is because um i don't even know if that starbucks is open in there but you know i want to drive my little car i got me a nice car so i want to drive my car uh, and then um it's an instagram real idea that i saw and i was like i could actually eat that up so i'm gonna try to do that um you guys will see it on instagram by the time y'all see this vlog if it does good on instagram then i'm gonna start doing those kind of reels but if not then I don't know but i just want to try it out and i wanted an excuse to wear my new purse so i got my this purse is from i don't know i don't want to be wrong and i don't want to be wrong but i got my little purse and my, it's my first time wearing these sneakers i don't know girl i just wanted to come outside and outside to me is target so y'all know fun to me is target burlington like i be needing an excuse to drive this car and yeah Kyrie is inside with mace because i know y'all be wondering where's Kyrie? At? he's inside with mace I did not decide to take him today with me. So, yeah, we're going to just listen to some M piano. Starting route to Target. Y'all, a parking spot right in the front. There is a god. There's a parking spot right here, but I'm gonna take the one behind me. This fat ass truck. <laughs> I always see you guys as tech messages where y'all be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe that you um you really driving now and you were so scared." Um, girl, let me tell y'all something. I hate depending on people and this is what i really wanted to talk to y'all about and my girl talk is okay i fucked that up let me 
<laughs> what am I doing? I can't do both. I can't talk to y'all and do this. Hold on. Make sure I lock my car, child. I have to make sure I... Period. Not me acting like a, a bird because I'm outside. Really, I don't need nothing from Alta. Why am I here, guys? I don't know. Child, so I'm at Target. And I am in the clothes section because the reel that I was telling y'all about is a um it's like a fashion reel is a girl i guess she tries on clothes in the fitting room and it's a real cute idea and she doesn't show her face and i like it so i'm just here looking at jeans and y'all know i bought some jeans from fashion over and it didn't fit because i'm fat now so i don't know let's see this a 10 y'all oh shit this is size 10 and this does not look like it's gonna fit and this is Stretch. Let me try a twirl. Where are you sitting? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try on a size 12. Damn, this is huge. Alright, y'all, I'm here. I'm about to try on all these clothes. So, wish me good luck, child, because. And this is my outfit I was telling you I had on top. It's from Skims. I don't know why it looks so dark. But the bottoms is from uh, Skims. And then I have on my Nelly trainers. And it goes with this bag, so. Love it. But I'm gonna try on these clothes. And if y'all wanna see these, this will be on Instagram, girl. Cause I ain't gonna look for y'all. I cannot afford for y'all to fall. I got some pants. I got a shirt, so many Skims dupes. I spend so much money on Skims, y'all. They have $8 dupes of the Skims, like what? So yeah, pray for me, y'all, because I already know I'm about to blow a bag in here. But see you on Instagram. You guys, so let me tell you, I'm gonna put y'all on real quick and then I'm gonna, um, I'm in Target, I'm in the fitting room, I'm trying on my clothes, right? I, try, I got a size 10 because that's what I was wearing before pregnancy. My jean size was a 10. I got a size 10 and a size 12. I was like, one of these got to fit me. I go in there. I'm excited to film my reel, my little video. Girl, I put them pants on. I think that I'm either, I think that I'm either rushing my body or I don't know what am I, what, what I'm doing. But I broke down crying in Target in the fitting room because... The size 12 don't fit me. My booty fits in a 10, a 10 and a 12, but it just doesn't close around my stomach. So what I think is, I think, let me lock the door, child. What I think is, I think my belly's not done growing down or either my uterus is not done. I want to go to Burlington. Or my uterus is not done contracting. I don't know what it is, but it's like everywhere on my body. I love the way my arms look. I love the way... My legs look. I love the way my booty look. I love the way my breasts, they kind of get a little saggy. But um, I still like their breasts. Like they have one function is to provide milk. Like breasts are for nothing else. Um, so like even if they do get a little saggy or whatever, like I don't care about that. But for my stomach not to be going down, like it's going down. But man, for that 12 not to fit me, that shit hit me hard. That shit really humbled me. Like I really started crying in that fitting room because there's no way... That I am buying a size 14 jeans. A size 14 is plus size. I am not plus size. I am not plus size. I cannot be plus size. And I mean, re realistically, I haven't worked out in a very long time. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm trying to give myself grace. I'm trying to be kind to myself. Y'all know, like, I really felt so bad in there. I text Maze and I was telling him, and he was just like, You just had a baby a month ago. It hasn't even been two months. And it's like, I know, but like, I'm so hard on myself. But I just wanted to tell y'all that I just really started crying in Target because my jeans don't fit. So I left the jeans, um, the jeans that I really wanted, that I tried on. I was like, if it's going to be all big on my stomach area, I'm not going to buy it. I mean, all tight on my stomach area, I'm not going to buy it. But 
it is 8 52 saturday on a saturday you know usually i would be going out. don't this picture look so beautiful guys uh usually i will be going out with um i snapped on that fucking picture usually i'll be going out with like friends or going like to the jamaican spot or whatever but i'm a mom now and i think it's really like settling in that i'm really a mom now and i love it i don't so far i like it you know but that really just crushed me but it's 852 um mace wants some lemon pepper wings and i do too because them shits is mad good that's the best lemon pepper wings i ever had in the state of texas child so i'm gonna go and get that because they close in an hour so but it's in the ghetto but i'm still i'm gonna go get it the last time i went there it was so many dudes in there and i was so scared like they just kept trying to talk to me so i called mace and i was on the phone playing around with mace like you know talking to him and then he was like okay bye i love you and i was like love you too like i wanted them to know like i have you know a person child these motherfuckers behind the counter talking about some oh how long you and your man been together why so going to that area does not make me feel comfortable not to say that i'm bougie or anything because as y'all know I, I was not raised in the suburbs or nothing like that it's just being older and knowing how people are insane makes me scared because you know when you're young you think you got the whole your whole life ahead of you the world is yours you ain't scared of shit child when you a woman and you older and you have a lot to lose and you a flashy bitch and you got a bbl like it's over <laughs> hey you might want to go sit your ass down somewhere like it just it's just too much attention like the flashy car in that area and then you get out and you you got chanel purse and they, like i'm just paranoid i am very paranoid so i'm gonna go get his i'm gonna go get his wings he wants 10 fucking wings and this place is expensive in my opinion so i'm gonna get him 10 wings and i'm gonna get 10 wings and i got some liquid iv i seen a tiktok um this girl was talking about um she put liquid iv in, in some shit or whatever and coconut water to boost her milk supply so that's what i'm gonna do but you guys i'm not gonna lie man i i haven't had my six week appointment yet to get clear to exercise but man tomorrow morning i'm getting on my treadmill because that treadmill is expect that treadmill i think is two thousand five hundred dollars or three thousand dollars the treadmill costs something one of those it's a peloton tread and that shit is just sitting in my garage and i have not really i've used it but i haven't really used it like for you to have a treadmill in your garage and you don't get on that bitch every day you're crazy so i'm gonna just have to get on that treadmill like you guys will see in the next vlog i'm gonna get my fat ass on that treadmill because what i just experienced in that fitting room humbled me i need y'all to understand that the clothes i gave away today started off at a seven so i went from seven to nine to ten and then i was a ten and then i, I really i'm looking back at my old hauls and stuff and i love I used to dislike my body and say that I'm fat and this and that. And I'm looking back and I'm like, I would do anything to have that body again. Like, I love my old body. Like, God, please. So, what? It say it's closed. Bro, is he slow? They're closed. Oh, I lied. They're open. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drive and go get these lemon pepper wings. And then I'll show it to you guys. And then I'm going to end the vlog. So, yeah. What is wrong with me? I'm going to play this song. This is a good song. Starbucks was closed. Like, Target was just... Not a good experience. Every girl want to walk off of me. Yeah. Every girl say they want peace of me. Oh. And every girl them a dive after me. To what? To then know me are the pussy specialist. Yeah. When the pussy sick, them a pretend me with it. Yeah.